Dr. Mindy here and it's fast training week and we are doing autophagy fasting specifically I am training this week and teaching you all on how to use autophagy fasting to improve sleep specifically tapping into autophagy because autophagy is this miraculous process your body goes through to repair and it can happen when you fast and it can happen when you sleep so welcome again if you're new hit the subscribe and button and notification bell. I am here in the fast To a long fast one day, your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. Hey resetters, I know so many of you are struggling with sleep. I totally get it, I've been there. Especially the women going through menopause, I get it, I get it, it's hard. And sleep is so crucial for our overall health. So what I wanna do is show you how to build a fasting lifestyle to improve your sleep. In the next reset we're doing, the July reset, I'm gonna show you exactly what I've shown hundreds of thousands of people around fasting lifestyles and sleep. I'm gonna give you the keys to the sleep kingdom in the next reset in July. I would absolutely love to have you join me in that journey. I want you rested, I want you happy, I want you energized, and in this July reset, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Okay, autophagy. I've done a lot on autophagy, <laughs> a lot. Uh, but let me go down into the basics and how it relates to sleep. The first thing you need to know about autophagy is your bodies do it every single night when you sleep. This is why it's so important. Think of autophagy as like you're taking the trash out that has accumulated in the cells of your body and brain during the day. When you sleep at night and you stimulate autophagy, it's like the body is taking the trash out so that the next day you have an empty waste bucket. So we love sleep because it, sleep is the ultimate detoxifier. It really truly is. But sometimes I can tell you as a menopausal woman at 52 years old, whoo mama, sleep has been difficult to figure out as hormones change. So I've heard from a lot of you, a lot of the menopausal women here on this channel, I've, I hear that you have struggled with figuring out how to sleep. So I wanna explain when we autophagy fast during the day, why it works so well for sleep at night. That's the purpose of this video. And here's where it starts with. We know that you are detoxifying, you are taking the waste out at night. It is a big job that your brain and body is tapping into. And it's beautiful. But imagine if you were able to get some of that same repair during the day. And that is what's happening when we autophagy fast. When we're autophagy fasting during the day, we are emptying the trash out of our cells so at night, the brain and body don't have to work so hard. Let me give you two examples to help you understand this. Let's say you're eating all day long and you're eating junk food, everything, all the processed food, all the Western uh, standard diet foods, and you're toxifying yourself all day long. When you go to sleep at night, your brain has a really hard job to do. It's got to pull a lot of those toxins out, so it is going to work harder. When the brain has to work harder at night, that means more sleep disturbances. So we can help the brain by leaning into stimulating autophagy during the day. And we do that, autophagy through fasting gets stimulated somewhere around between 16 and 18 hours. So I always say 17, split the difference, go right in the middle. So when we do 17 hours of fasting, we are tapping into autophagy during the day and we are cleaning our cells during the day, making it easier on the brain and body at night, meaning less sleep dis disturbances, more REM sleep, more deep sleep, allowing you to have a more restful sleep and get more out of your sleeping patterns. Now, I know a lot of you might be saying, well, I only sleep flat five hours, or I mean, I'll use myself as an example. As I've moved through menopause, if I can get seven hours, I feel like a rock star, but it's hard to get eight, nine, 10 hours of sleep. So what we wanna do is give the body the maximum of chance to get a therapeutic sleep pattern going, even if it's only seven hours, even if it's only five hours. What's really important is what is happening in those five hours. What is happening in those seven hours? If you're waking up four or five times a night, 
you're not getting the deep repair that the brain needs. So when we autophagy fast during the day, going 17 hours, and when we keep our protein under 20 grams in that same day, we elongate autophagy. So you are going in to sleep already with a whole lot of autophagy behind you and the brain can go mm, and it can start to relax and it can do less work at night. And then your body has a better chance of healing. So when you think of sleep, I want you to always think of autophagy. Now, last thing I want to say, there are parts of the brain that control sleep are three parts. There are your pineal gland, your hypothalamus, and your pituitary. Luckily, when we look at the brain, those three parts actually are highly, highly influenced by autophagy. And it's a great way to repair the parts of the brain that control melatonin production, that control your sleeps and circadian cycles. So not only with autophagy fasting, are you getting the benefit of cleaning up the cells during the day, taking the load off the brain at night, but in that whole long process of autophagy, you are repairing the main core center of the brain that controls melatonin and controls your circadian rhythm and your sleep-wake cycles. So you're literally killing two birds with one stone, which is why I picked autophagy fasting this week for fast training week. So I hope that helps. I know many of you love the concept of autophagy. I want to take it to a deeper discussion. I know a lot of you are suffering with sleep and, and you're trying to use fasting as a tool. I want you to, just like I've taught you that 24 hours is great gut repair, 36 hours fasting is great fat burning, 48 hours starts to reset your dopamine pathways. I really want you to start to think of the 17 hour autophagy fasting mechanism as your door in to better sleep. Those two should be always thought of together. So I hope that helps as far as your knowledge on autophagy fasting. Let me know if you have been fasting and your sleep has improved, please put it in the comments. We are a community. I know it's just a YouTube video and I know we aren't actually physically seeing each other, but what I love about the way this channel has evolved is so many of you are on this journey with me and you're putting your comments in the, in the comment section, sharing your wins. If you're new, go down into those areas, get an inspiration from this community. And if you want the community, uh, the fasting guide, the companion guide that we did for this week, that's free for you. Just put uh, fasting or put companion guide in your comments and my team will send you the link. But as always, do not give up on yourself. The body's miraculous. Like think about it. We came with a repair system. It's already in us. We don't need it to spend any money on it. It's in us. We just need to sleep and we just need to fast and everything starts to work better then. So hope you get my enthusiasm and excitement for fasting because it is such a key tool for healing and I'm so happy that you are experimenting with it. So as always, I hope that helps. It's Fast Training Week, so if you want to win a free box of Element, they sponsor our Fast Training Weeks. So all you've got to do is get the companion guide, put companion guide in your comments, and all the information is in there for you to win a free box of Element. Element absolutely is like a faster's gift. It will help you get through those longer fasts with ease and grace. So enjoy, super grateful for this product.